Cage Minds. We got Amber Brown with us. It's Fight Week Invicta 15. How you feeling? Great. I'm feeling awesome. Weight's perfect right now. I'm about to close my training out today. I feel really good. Eight days out, officially it became known. Lisa Ellis out and a Japanese fighter who I would horribly mess up her name. That if I set it in, what's the change mean to you? Her name's Shino Van Hoos, and honestly, it, I mean, she's different, a different fighter, but I'm focused on me and what I'm going to do. I've been training hard, so um, I'm just going to go out there and do me. It's not much of a difference to me. We know that Lisa wanted to come out and wrestle. She always wants to. Shino has all of her wins by submission, so is it still the same in-aspect kind of fighter because it's a grappler? We'll see, pretty much, maybe. I mean, we'll, it starts out on the feet, so we'll see how it goes. You know, if it does go to the ground, I mean, either way, I'm going to be on top of my game and be prepared for whatever she has because I honestly haven't seen much footage of her. I've seen just a little bit, so it looks like she's pretty well-rounded. You're a top five fighter in the division. She's coming over four and three. Are people underestimating her than just looking at the record? No underestimation at all. Like I don't take any opponent lightly, so no matter what, like, I expect it to be a hard fight no matter what the outcome is. What does this outcome lead to? I better get a title shot. Like After this, like I should have a title shot. I should have had one now, but they wanted me to fight Lisa, and now this girl came in. I'm glad she stepped up. I really appreciate that she did, um, but hopefully a title shot after this. You can't be mad at somebody that stepped up. Like. You might, you know, have aggravation towards Lisa wanting to beat her, but right now you're just more happy at an opponent. I, I have one. Definitely. I would have been totally bummed out if they would have told me a week before the fight that the fight was canned because Lisa pulled out. So I'm really happy that Shino stepped up. So what do you think about the title fight? How long have you been dreaming about this for? We know we've been talking about it a long time wanting to get it. Gosh, a while. Uh, I've been looking towards that title since I started fighting, watching Invicta, even when I wasn't in with Invicta. So it's been a goal of mine since day one. So it means the world to me. So, um, and I know Ayaka is very tough. So I train hard every day. So hopefully I'll get my chance when, like after this fight. Think there's a chance you could get that fight maybe to happen out here? Be like, hey, come on, you guys owe me one. Should make a debut in Albuquerque. I wish. I mean, they should come to Albuquerque. It's great big MMA scene, you know. They are barely kind of venturing out of Kansas the past few times, so hopefully soon they get to Albuquerque. So you got any thoughts on that going out to California instead of Kansas? It'll be a little bit different this time? Yeah, well, I haven't actually went to Kansas because my other ones were in Iowa and then Vegas, so California will be cool. I'm not excited to go see like warmer weather and the ocean and stuff so it'll be cool we're gonna make a little trip out of it we're gonna stay there for a while after the fight so it'll be fun and now with the time off coming off of a major win and a destruction how did that feel anyway smashing somebody in the mouth we talked so much junk coming in <laughs> it felt awesome actually you know she did talk a lot of crap um it you know, I and I train hard, so I prepare for every fight to go the distance, like a 15-minute war. So it was awesome to finish it that quick. Getting a quick win like that, what was the what was the scene like there live? It was awesome. The the vibe and the energy in that place, the Cosmopolitan, was awesome. It was a really nice venue. Like Invicta always puts on good shows, so it was it was awesome fighting in Vegas, fight week too. So it was cool. The title shot, it comes. How much just, you know, when you get that, because we know it's coming here, it looks like it, will that be an accomplishment of itself? Oh, a ton. Like, I mean, I won't be done, you know. I mean, I won't be completely satisfied because I always have goals, new goals to look forward to. But once I get that title, it's going to be amazing. Like, I feel like a, a lot of my hard work would have paid off by then. So I'm excited. Hard work, a lot of hard work since the last fight. Where do you feel you've been putting in the work? Where are you trying to improve the most in? Everywhere. I, I feel like I'm still pretty new to the game, even though I've moved up really fast. It's been a really fast ride for me. I'm still new to MMA and learning everything every day, so I work everything all the time. What do you credit that to? Was it taking the hard fights overseas? What's giving you that opportunity to get the notoriety so quickly and jump up in the rankings as you have? 
Definitely the Japan. Like some people say my last fight was like the biggest win of my career, but I, like in my opinion, going to Japan and beating the number five girl when I was a no one really bumped me up and got me noticed. I know the last fight took, a lot of people took notice, but I wouldn't be where I am, I don't think, without that win in Japan. I don't know, maybe I would, but I feel like that win in Japan really helped me get to where I'm at today. Well, would we say that was your most dominant win, your last win? Yeah. Yeah, my last one for sure. And what do you think came together that night that made it possible for you to implement your game plan so dominantly? Just all my hard work and, you know, I imposed my will on her. I mean, I can't even express it. Just hard work. I work hard in the gym every single day. Like, I take days off when I need, but I'm always in the gym working on something, so... And then I believe along with some other members of the team, you're also at another strength and conditioning gym now too? Yeah, um, we were with Jared Saavedra at Athlete Ready. He's helped me a lot through this fight camp. So um, that's where I did most of my strength and conditioning for this fight camp. And even a little bit before that too. So what, what's the feeling like then, putting that element into it, moving to a facility that specializes in something like that? How do you feel as an athlete? I feel good. I mean, he really helped me. I mean, I feel, I do feel like I've gotten a lot stronger. Um, my footwork has come leaps and bounds since then. So um, just getting a lot lighter on my feet and just flowing better and not being so heavy, heavy footed. This Saturday night, what should the fans expect? A great fight. It's going to be a war no matter how it goes. Um, it'd be awesome to get a finish, but I don't ever expect that. So if it goes to a decision, you know, that's cool too. But it's going to be an amazing fight. So make sure to tune into UFC Fight Pass. And then, do you have a speech? Do you have anything planned? You're going to jump out and run at Sharon Snap? How do you, what do you, do you got anything planned afterwards? Make that statement about wanting the title yeah, fight. Yeah, I'm definitely going to demand my title shot. After the last fight, I kind of beat her on the bush a little bit. Maybe one more fight, but like after this, like I'm, I want my title shot. I deserve it. There's no one else in that weight class more deserving of that shot than me. When you think back to it, coming in the gym years ago, just looking to get in shape, right? Right. It's to top five in the world. Some thoughts about this journey. It's amazing. So many people can't believe it. They think it's crazy when I tell them that I've been training. I've been training since 09, but MMA only since 2012. So that's such a short amount of time to accomplish what I have. So it really, I'm truly grateful for all the people that I have behind me and all my coaches and my teammates. Because it is a, a solo sport when you go in there, but without them, it wouldn't be possible. And we started out boxing. So do you ever get that itch? Just like, oh, I'd like to get back in between the ropes maybe again. I haven't really. I mean, it'd be cool between fights when I, I only uh, the past two years I fought twice. So thinking back now, it would have been maybe cool to get in there and box. But I'm pretty focused on my career and where I'm at in MMA. And I just want to go further. Last but not least, who do you need to shout out to? Who do you need to thank? Oh my gosh, all my sponsors, I mean, I, there's too many to thank. You guys all know who you are. Definitely Trent Cotney, Brenda and Timmy, and Tom, JJ, Arlene, and all my teammates. Amber New Mexico Brown. Wild Bunch. Ever Brown, thank you for the time. Thank you. Fight Pass this Saturday, everybody. Tune in.